What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the video guys. So we're finally promise. I'm trying to promise. Finally, we're finally back on track with the K and the tag and all that shit. Um watching the past few videos that I've uploaded recently, um now mind you, I'm be honest with you guys, I'm very not the most optimistic guy, I'm very realistic. Sometimes it could be too far, but anyways. Um I kinda find my videos are very boring. You know, my wife is one of my big motivators, so she's a big motivation for me. So she's like, ah, oh, can you? I love your videos. She even watches my videos. Like, why you watch my videos? Like, ah, oh. but I mean, like, I find my videos are really boring. And I found the past few videos I made was a bit sulky and sad. And like I said, I really don't want to spread negativity or try to make these videos boring. I know they're not entertaining as probably other videos out there. I wish I had that leverage to do cool things, but um. But hopefully that we're back to what we're doing here with the tech. Uh, for the past few days, I've just been in here just cleaning the inside. I'll show I'll show some pictures. Uh, it's really shining inside. I really took my time to clean it. So I'm um, finally we're back, and today we're going to be dealing with these pistons. Um, I show you guys just now. So I don't know if you guys can see these clear, but I'll do a close up. So today's task is taking off these pistons off of these rods. Uh, we're going to be switching the A2 pistons over to the A3 rods and keeping the A3 pistons for souvenir and the A2 rods for souvenir. Who knows what the future can pop up. Probably could use these. I know for sure I won't be using these again but these A2 rods can definitely use for something else. Hopefully you another know K build. So um, like I said we'll be taking off these pistons today. Um, it shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully these are not as st stuck in there as probably a press fit uh, pin but these are not press fit these are these are floating but like I said um, who knows you know I'm sure everything doesn't go as planned you know what I'm saying so hopefully I don't have a heat gun but I hopefully I just, uh, just tap them out hard as possible I'll show you guys what I'll be doing and I'm sure this is nothing new okay I'm not trying to take any credit here for anything I'm sure this has been a method that's done many years and a lot of guys have been doing this before. I probably just get a a, uh, a socket and just tap it out. Uh, just probably tape the socket up, uh, not to destroy the socket, and just just hit it out as hard as I can. Obviously, I need to take the pins out, but um, not trying to take any credit here for anything. So that's 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 the method I'm thinking about. Uh, some other factors that I'm having into consideration. Um, I also want to do a video on the difference between. A3 versus the rest of the K, K motors, especially the A2. Um, big difference here, as you guys could see, um, the top of the piston, the crown, if you want to call it that, crown the piston. Um, so, obviously, it has more of a uh, protruding head than this. Obviously, um, it has low, A3 has low compression, A2 has high compression. And the other big difference, guys, these rods, man, these rods are thick as hell on the A2. Uh, obviously takes more abuse. These are, these are the crap right here. I don't know. Now I know a lot of guys, I watch a lot of videos, a lot of guys, you know, rev the, A, the A, uh, A3 motors. But, you know, it's all about, for me, longevity. You know what I'm saying? Obviously you guys see me uh, toss around that blueprint word a lot in my videos and I want to do more on that. But, that's a big difference right here. These rods are thick. So, they can't work on it. These journal sizes are big, so you can't just put them over to the A2, A3 crank. So um, I wish. But, so they're, they're they're different sizes, and like I said, they're, they're really big. So hopefully this goes well, and um, just going to clean them up. And uh, we're not going to put them on today. Just going to take them off, clean these bad boys up, and um, see where we go from there. So. Stay tuned guys. So here I have the A2 pistons and rods and whatever. Uh, I'm sure you guys already seen this tip before or a little trick or whatever. We use like a soda crate and you just put your pistons in, uh, align them in any order you need to. Obviously this is not from the original block so you need to put them as one, two, three, you know, not really assigning patterns to remember but I just put them in here just to keep them, you know, just orderly, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna put the A2 piston, A3 pistons in this side, and yeah, just start taking these rods off.
All right, guys. So I got both sides out. Two of them right here. Uh, like I said, just try to just try to cover your hands over them or you know face them downwards, just away from your face. So, cause yeah, they they want to be set free. <laughs> They've been in there for how many miles, and they're like, I want to be free. So, yeah, they don't give a f where they fly. So, just make sure, just just be safe, guys. All right, now we're gonna try and use a uh, have a five eight socket. I think it may be still a bit big because it's tapered, but um, I think it would be enough just to hit it out, but not to go all through. So we want to see how that goes. So first attempt, fam. First attempt. Let's do this. I found me finally got it out, um, so I'm just gonna keep it in here like this until I get the rest out. Uh, I don't want to bore you guys doing all eight of them. Uh, I know this video is probably already long and boring, so we really appreciate you guys for really just sitting around and watching. So yeah, not that bad. Hopefully the rest of them go that way. I don't know if you guys can see this well, but um, this is the um, A3 rods on the um, A2 pistons. Um, I'll uh, show you some guys like for affirmation, make sure I'm not lying to you guys, so if you guys can see that stamp, PRB, and um, the stamp for the A3 pist uh, rods, uh, PNA, so yeah, they fit. Now, like I said, um, I don't want to seem like, oh, I'm the first to do this and all this, um, there's another guy in the video actually doing this, and uh, for you guys who don't really want to sit and read Honda Tech to find out. Uh, I know a lot of people say, yeah, it's been done, but they don't really show. You know, a lot of people want to see physical proof and all that, but um, yeah, this is it on here. Um, it's not pressing all the way because I want to take it out again. I want to clean these up. So, yeah, just going to show you guys. So, let me show you guys what I'll be using. Um, I'll be using just some good old kerosene. Um, I have some more in this bar here. If you guys watch my, some of my previous videos, I've used this in um, Clean Integra, the K20 of the car wash. Um, you guys should check that video out. Um, and just some toothbrush, uh, toothbrush uh, and a bucket. Um, it is snowing outside, so I'll be doing this inside on my tile in the kitchen. So I'm sure you guys who are again OCD and probably think this is ghetto. Yes, it is, but it's snowing and. Um, I, I, you know, it's cold out there, so I don't think I want to be out there anyways. Fam, so I decided to just use the um, warm water. So there's warm water with KY and um, Old Spice. <laughs> just, 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 just fucking. So, uh, but hey, I mean, engine needs love too, right? But um, yeah, so just some warm water with some um, soap. Um, if anything goes wrong with getting rust or anything, which I highly doubt it, um, I will just run down the street and just clean with some compressed air and just spray some um, kerosene or get some more WD-40 and um, just spray it over there so it won't get rust, but I doubt it. But the only thing that I probably need to watch out for and I'll make sure I want to clean properly, um, there's some oil holes and before I start, like I would say in all my videos, and um, I don't want to come off as smart, knowledgeable or highly intelligent or whatever so you guys can call me out like I, I'll keep saying this in all my videos but anyways so I guess I'm a high performance ish engine because I mean I still call the K283 a high performance engine it's just <laughs> with the ugly duckling but anyways big difference as well with the A3 pistons and A2s um, the A3 doesn't have oil drain drain uh, holes if you want to call it that on the piston ring side of the pistons so um that's a, that's a big factor as well. I, 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 I want to believe it. It helps a lot, especially with draining back the oil back into the crankcase. Um, cooling as well. Like I said, you, you guys can call me out. I know there's some more of the guys out there who knows more about this than I do. So um, that's, that's a big plus. I guess I can go as far as saying that probably the B18, uh, B18 B1 and the B20 uh, from the CRV, they, 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 they don't have those holes. Um, as to oppose the B16, the B18, and the B17, um, those the VTEC motors. So, um, and maybe as far as the D16Y8 to the D16Z6, 
or the D15, you know, um, the Z6 would probably have or cooler um, those those holes. So that's that's a cool little thing. Um, so um, I guess I'll just share with you guys who probably don't know. Um, we learn a lot every day. So um, that's that. So we're gonna start and um, see how it goes from there. Alright guys, so this is the result of the pistons. Um, I'm very pleased with how they uh, came out. Much better than how they look. I'm sure some of you guys out there would say, uh, well, it doesn't work clean anymore, it's a waste of time. But I think it would be injustice to put those uh, dirty carbon that was on them before, that came out of another engine, and put in this clean bill. Um, yeah, obviously it's gonna get messy after pouring oil and it's gonna build more carbon after it gets driven and all that but it looks way better i mean the water as you can see by the water but um yeah happy with how it came out so this is the end of this video um if you guys could please um some of me and the wife are speaking about um follow my um, instagram i'm trying to step up my um, social media game so i'm thinking about joining snapchat but um for the social media for the instagram um if you guys could really give me a follow that would be nice um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching the video and have a great one. Deuces.